Not content with success in the modeling world, British-born Sam Sarpong is taking on the film, television and music industry in a big way. The former face of Tommy Hilfiger already has over 35 film and TV appearances to his credit. And oh yeah, he raps on the side. Sam Sarpong may very well be the hardest working entertainer you've never heard of, yet. I call this year 2006. So I, you know, I don't even call it 2006. I say 2006 because that's the type of year that I know it's going to be for me. What role did fashion play in paving the way for your career? As far as the acting world, it didn't really help me that much. It wasn't like, okay, he's a huge hill figure model. Let's put him in a film. But what it did help for me is casting directors and people at least knowing my face. Every single day I get recognized, but people don't know what it's from. Your big break was uh, getting a, an exclusive deal with Tommy Hilfiger. I wasn't a model at the time, so I was up against all these top models and they were looking for, you know, a new face or whatever. And I'd been on all these callbacks. So I walk in there, there's like 30 executives from Tommy Hilfiger and I walk in, I'm like, all right guys, look, I'm young, I'm cool, I'm hip, what's up? You guys gonna give me a job or what? And there was silence for like 20 seconds, like no joke. So I'm looking at him and I'm like, oh man, I've messed this up. All of a sudden, everyone just burst into laughter. And then on my way home, I got a call from my manager that said, um, hey, you got the job. Every model's dream is to be associated with a label because especially for guys, no one cares about us. You guys know Naomi, you guys know yeah. Cindy, you know, but guys, you know, you say Sam Sarpong, people are like, who? The only guy that's ever really made a mark worldwide in fashion is my boy Tyson Beckford. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the first of his kind in fashion, period. You say Tyson Beckford worldwide and they know who he is. Design. You yeah. know how to design clothes. You yeah, have your own line, the, Future Stars. Yeah, Future Stars. I mean, I know how to design. It's funny. Um, I don't have. I can't draw, but I have a great vision as far as how I want clothes to look. You have good taste. Yeah, and even when I was in junior high and high school, I couldn't afford a lot of the name brands. So I would make my own clothes and wear them to school and have my own name on them. So this is a vision that I've had forever, and I've made clothes for everybody from. Beyonce to my friend Amber Tamblyn. I'm making some stuff right now for Frankie Muniz and um, Bill Bellamy and you know a bunch of people that I play ball with. Nicknamed Future? Yeah, Future. Uh, why and when did you get the name? Um, Future, that's been my name since I was little. I mean, my dad always said I was one step ahead of everybody. So that's where the name Future comes from. I'm really trying to be a mogul. I don't want to just be a talent. I want to create jobs for other people too. You know what I mean? Show young talent, hey, I came from nothing and I made something of myself and they could do the same thing. 2006. 2006. The, 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 the year of Sam Sarpong. Holla at your boy, 06. Oh,